What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see before you, there is a new insider build out. It is build.71. So the same old number as before, but just dot seventy-one from dot seventy-five. It is currently installing at 69%. Nice. And uh well, once this is restarted and everything's done, we're going to be checking out what's new. Well, the update literally took seconds to install. We are on 22000.71. And uh, let's go over all the improvements, shall we? We're going to start with widgets, of course, because there's a brand new widget. It's called Entertainment. I believe you can add it. How does this even work? We just click here and customize widget. No. Add widget. And of course we have to find the big E and there it is. There's the new widget. We can also, again, as always, remove widgets and then organize. So that's the new widget that was added. I don't know why it's there, but all right. If you want to, you know, send me recommendations for horror movies instead of these kid movies, that'd be great. There's new context menus. So as you know, the context menus when right clicking were not transparent and not glassy, but now they are and god does that look good wow uh they use the white theme in uh in the blog and it just did not do it justice but this looks fantastic so there you go the new context theme uh the new context menu is now themed accordingly to the rest of the operating system which is great so there's something new inside of explorer oh great it restored it to what it originally was uh, and it's called the split button. And I don't know, is this it? Is this the split button? No, where's this split button at? Uh, we are testing the usability of a split button for making new folders. Okay, um, let's go somewhere where I can make a new folder. Try videos, we're gonna go into captures. No, that's all my other crap. Uh, yes, here same place as last time right click here new item and no what's this button do layout and grid options set groups new folders okay new items new folders maybe this is what they mean by a split button uh it's now split for new folder and new items i mean that does save a lot of room but a lot of people are getting confused i mean they can just go here and click new item I don't see the point. I mean, I think people would rather have tabs more than anything else. Uh, by the way, they've also completely undid the hack that allows you to restore the old Explorer. That's gone. So let's go with the taskbar. So we fixed an issue where if you drag an icon on the taskbar to rearrange them, it was making the app launch or minimize when you release the icon. That's pretty cool. Does this mean I can now do this? No, it doesn't, so I still can't drag and drop apps. Uh, using a long press with touch on an app icon in the task bar to open the jump list should now work. See, I can't do that. It won't let me, because I don't have touch. I wish I did, I really do, guys. I would love to show this off in a touch capacity one, one day, but I don't have anything for that. So right, so shift plus right click on an app icon in the taskbar now brings up a menu really oh damn now that's cool so this is the menu they used i'm all for that uh we've addressed an issue that was making your mouse move slowly when hovering over taskbar previews yeah they did too oh yeah look that's really nice looking by the way <laughs> Uh, that was another thing here that I think I completely skipped. The taskbar uh, previews when you hover over apps have been updated to reflect the new design of Windows 11. So yeah. Now, um, last time we were doing this, um, I never got to show you something, but now I get to show you it, I guess. When I'm just gonna move that over and hit apply and it didn't do anything. Well, a new menu will pop up that will reflect the new Windows 11 theme. So that's pretty cool. Like if I decided to just, uh, I don't want to change. You know what? We're going to change this. I'm going to change the resolution of this. Where is it? Graphics. We're going to go down here to one right there. See it is. So 
So that's pretty cool. I'm glad that they did that. And I love how OBS just instantly reacts even though that's not the monitor it's using. Great job, OBS. Great job as always. And uh, there's a ton of other fixes. Most are minimal, but yeah. Uh, they are still huge when it comes to changes because honestly, I really do love this. Ooh, File Explorer got some fixes. Let's go over these ones. Clicking the command bar twice now closes any drop down that appeared. The new command bar should only should now appear when open folders is in a separate process enabled under wow one thing they still haven't fixed is that you still can't see thumbnails in things like that's cool and all but i want to see what's inside the folder i wish they'd do that and i wish these were blue because i want to change these to the color of blue um but yeah there's a lots of other fixes there's some known issues here uh when upgrading to Windows 11 from 10 or installing the update to Windows 11, some features may be removed. Uh, in some cases, you might be unable to enter text when using the search from the taskbar. If you experience this issue, uh, press Win plus R on the keyboard to launch or run the dialog box, then close it. That's pretty cool. At least they fixed that. Ooh, ew. brief green flashing may appear when opening up the settings. That would be horrible for my eyes. I'd rather that not happen. I will put the rest of this in the description below. This was not as big of a change as, you know, I was hoping, but it's still a lot of fixes and a lot of cool stuff has happened. Anyway, guys, as always, hit the like button. You know, it gets a lot of people noticing the video. The algorithm likes that. It sends it out so people don't get misinformation from those tech news sites that don't know ass or anything about windows 11 at all and t like to send like to spread bad information also subscribe if you're new here i'll be following every one of these windows 11 builds until its final release in october uh which has you know been leaked multiple times in different videos and screenshots that they've already done and that's it i hope you stay safe and i'll see you guys next time we good job microsoft you're actually uh doing a really good job so far